Hello everyone. So tonight is the full core moon in Pisces. It's going to bring up a lot of strange dreams, a lot of creative energy, um, a lot of emotions, ups and downs. Psychic abilities will be enhanced. You and your, or your person might be going through um, an awakening process having epiphanies having sudden breakthroughs having you know if you're if this is like a twin flame or soulmate connection having sudden realizations about the true nature of this connection like if you've been telling them that you know they're your twin flame it's it's kind of like they have you know a vision or a dream or they just have this sudden flash of insight that just comes in um, there's a lot going on in the spirit realm right now. There's there's a lot of activity going on, a lot of awakenings, a lot of soulmate and twin flame reunion, a lot of practically overnight life changes, just epiphanies, breakthroughs, new energy. Um, there is some purging, but it's it's very different than purging we've had in the past. Before it was kind of like almost baby steps, I guess, in a way. Like, I feel like in the past, you know, you guys would purge a little bit here and there, but this is like drastic purging. This is drastic overnight changes. This is drastic breakthroughs. This is, you know, getting a text message or a call from someone you haven't heard from in months or even years. This is just, there's a lot of just breakthrough energy coming in with this moon and if you do spell work this is a really potent time for it this energy is really positive very spiritual very open um very transformational and you guys are you guys are really being pushed to step out of your comfort zones and um reconnect with your you know your inner child i guess you would call it you know the the part of you, yourself that you left behind in the past the 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 person you were before everyone told you who to be basically you're you know finding yourself again reclaiming yourselves getting into this very spiritual free-spirited creative just flow just this universal flow where you just manifest with ease you guys are all coming into that you're you're in this transformation phase there's just so much good transformational energy for you guys to tap into right now if you choose to if you choose to take that leap of faith if you choose to open your heart if you choose to meditate and go inward and really connect with your intuition there's just this this very potent um energy for just transformation and and drastic beautiful life changes so some of you, you or your person might be going through just sudden changes like job loss, um, karmic partners breaking up, um, you know, just, just situations changing pretty drastically and it can be really heavy and confusing and scary and emotional for a lot of you. Um, it's understandable. You know, I'm, I'm in this energy too and I... I know I notice like my readings and stuff a lot of other people are also in this energy it's it's coming in with this full moon in Pisces it's just this this energy of breakthrough it's like the it's divine intervention basically if your person has been stagnant the divine is just pushing them to reach out to make that uh, this effort for you there's so much going on behind the scenes right now and they're also pushing you guys as well to make changes in your life to you know step out of your comfort zone to take risks to let go of control issues, to find yourselves again, to be your true selves, to step into your power, to, you know, end toxic jobs, end, end toxic karmic relationships, end stagnant situations, get out of stagnant living situations, you know, and really, um, you know, pursue your dreams and just get into this, this just free spirited, just flowing abundant energy just believing that you can have this transformation in your life and believing that you can have more than what you're used to and it's 444 right now so angelic protection guidance is around you i've noticed a lot of um i'm gonna get into the reading in just a minute i just want to say one more thing i've noticed a lot of like blessing in disguise type energy lately um 
And like my scooter broke down the other day and I just decided to get rid of it. I'm like, I'm done with this scooter. And at first I was upset. I was like, okay, you know, just the universe is messing with me. I don't like this. But then I realized it's actually a blessing in disguise because I've been wanting a motorcycle for a while. And now I needed that push to, to get rid of that scooter finally. You know what I mean? So there's a lot of like push right now, a lot of, um, just a lot going on behind the scenes that might not make sense in the present moment, but like months down the road or even years down the road, you're going to look back and you're going to understand why things had to happen the way they happened. And you're going to be grateful for it. You know, like if you just got out of a toxic karmic relationship, it might hurt right now, but you're going to be grateful for it in a few months or a year from now, you're going to look back and you're going to be with like your, you know, a, a someone better, or you're going to be just in a better situation. And you're going to understand why things played out the way that they did. So anyway, let me get into the reading. Um, and I'm sorry I haven't done the Zodiac readings yet. I've had a really chaotic month. I had some, some bad shit happen this month. So I've just been kind of dealing with that and trying to heal from all that. Um, I've been working a lot too, but I, I am going to do the, the monthly Zodiac readings on Friday or Saturday um, over the weekend, so they they will be up. I haven't forgotten. Just processing some stuff right now, but yeah. Anyway, let's get into it. So I'm going to look into what your person is thinking, feeling what they're wanting. I'm also going to look into what's going on in your situation, what this moon is going to bring in for you. So first I'm going to look into what this moon is bringing in for you. Then I'm going to look into what the moon is bringing in for your person, like what kind of life changes and epiphanies they're having right now. And then I'm going to pull some cards to show what's going on with the connection, like how this, this full moon energy plays out in your connection. So what is going on with my viewers? What do you guys need to know about your life right now? What do you need to know about what's going on in your lives? This is from a deck that I just created, so I'm pretty happy about that. <laughs> pretty excited to use it finally. Okay, so we've got soulmate, past life connection, soul contract, loyalty, stability, vows, submissive, weak willed, pause, reflection, rest, message coming in possibly. We got open and honest communication here, magic, manifestation, intention, and power, and apology and regret. Okay. So I think this is someone who betrayed you in the past. And I think what this reading is kind of saying is you're stepping into your power. You're really, with this moon energy, it's like you're making, I feel like you're, you're putting yourself first more than you have in the past. You're really, you're loving yourself more. You're, you're focusing on your own healing, your own spirituality, your own development. Um, you're, you know, just manifesting the life that you want. You're just, you're, you're, you're reclaiming a part of yourself that I think you lost. I think this part of you that, um, was suppressed, like this more free spirited, open part of you, all that creative energy that, that, you know, abundance, just manifesting with ease. That's all coming back with this full moon. And you're really tapping into that energy. Um, and I think your person is going to be feeling that they're going to, cause in the past you've been submissive with them. It's like you were weak willed a little bit, you know? Um, and it happens when we love people, you know what I mean? But it's like, you were kind of submissive to this connection. You weren't, you were losing yourself to this connection. You were obsessing or you were, you know, just missing them or, or going along with what they wanted or trying to be good for them and not really worrying about what was good for you. You know, you were just putting them first and now you're starting to put yourself first and they're going to feel that energy and they're probably going to come in with this apology. So this is like a past life, probably a soulmate connection, maybe someone you have a soul contract with and you might want to break that soul contract. If this keeps coming back around, but it never actually goes anywhere, you might want to look into that soul contract and figure out if there's a soul contract you have of heartbreak or or having to wait or having to go through these hard situations with people you know sometimes we have these subconscious patterns and on top of it on top of subconscious patterns we have from this lifetime sometimes we also have soul contracts from previous lives that 
come up again and again. You know, sometimes we punish ourselves for things that we did in our past lives, but sometimes we punish ourselves by habit. Sometimes it's like you've paid that karmic debt, but you keep punishing yourself because you're used to having to suffer in your past lives. So you keep doing it again and again and again. Like I had that with my um, Viking life. I kept punishing myself for the things I did in that life. And this lifetime is when I finally realized like that karmic debt had been paid already by all the horrible things I went through in my past lives. And I, you know, I, I ended those soul contracts. I'm like, this isn't necessary anymore. I don't have to punish myself anymore for this. I've already paid for it. I've already compensated for the things that I've done in my past lives. So there could be that energy there too, where, the, you know, if it's, if it's just think about your soul contracts, think about what really do this is like just major breakthrough energy like i said so really think about what you need to let go of to live your best life whether it's a person or a job or a bad living situation or multiple things really think about what you need to let go of to get back to who you really are to see it's 11 11 11 into this video um to get back to who you are to get back to the powerful free-spirited um just open-minded person that you you know are when you're in a healthy good situation or a good environment you know what i mean it's like this is all about putting that first putting finding yourself first and reclaiming yourself and reclaiming your power first i think you had this this uh loyalty and this like just stable energy for this other person and it wasn't quite matched and I think that you were submissive to that, you know, like maybe it was just someone you'd been through with through a lot of things with. And so you wanted to support them no matter what, um, or you would just put a lot of time and energy into something. And so you're like, I don't want to give up on it now. Like what, if, you know, what if I don't find anyone else? What if, what if this, what if that? And, you know, you're really submissive to that energy. And now I think you're reclaiming that. And this loyalty is to yourself now, this stable energy this all this love you were giving to this person you're giving it to yourself now and you're cutting out all the things that don't serve you anymore you're cutting out whatever's holding you back um and you're not submissive anymore you're you're more you're in this more dawn you're coming into this more dominant energy this strong energy this setting boundaries with people doing what makes you happy i think you had to take this time out it's like this time of pause reflection rest um you know, taking time to just reclaim yourself and find yourself and listen to your own inner voice instead of the chatter around you and really figure out what works for you. Because this is all about, again, just all about reclaiming yourself, all about being your true self no matter what. And um, so here we have magic manifestation, intention, and power. And this is the energy you're coming into with this full moon where you can just manifest whatever you want pretty much. You can manifest the love you want, the abundance, the career you want. Um, if you want to travel, if you want to uh, go to school, whatever you want to do, it's like you're realizing with this energy coming in, it's like you're realizing the world is your oyster. You're you're noticing all the little things again. You're becoming passionate about life again. You're you're noticing just this. It's just this very beautiful spiritual open energy that you're coming into and, and tapping into this energy, you know, you're going to realize how powerful you are. You're going to have these breakthroughs where you just realize who you are, where you, you realize who you are on a soul level, where you go through this like awakening and you just really reclaim yourself and reclaim your magic. And you, you realize the power you have to manifest the life that you want. And you're not going to want this energy anymore, whether it's a person or a job, it's like, you're getting to this point where you just don't want it. Um, and I think you're you're communicating more openly and honestly because you're like, you know what, I come first. Like my, you know, like you maybe you send a message to someone and you're like, you know, I'm just going to be open and honest for me because that's who I am as a person. I also do feel like a lot of you are going to get a message that's going to be open and honest because, and you're going to have to judge the situation though because for some of you, this is someone who is still toxic but they're just going to realize that you're in this, your power, that you're not submissive to them anymore, that you're standing your ground, that you're doing the things that are right for you. And they don't have this control over you anymore. 
and you know you're just they're you they're gonna sense your magic and your power and your your renewed passion and adventure spirit and your new love for life you know just this energy that you're reclaiming um but you've got to stop and ask yourself are you able to reclaim this energy because you've let this person or situation go because they might, there's a good chance for a lot of you that they're going to feel this. They're going to be like, oh, wow, I don't have him or her on lockdown anymore. This person is like, it's like they, they just, they, it's like, if you can't love me at my worst, you can't love me at my best. You don't get to love me at my best. You know what I mean? It's that kind of energy. It's like when you were at your worst, they didn't love you. They weren't there. They took you for granted. And now that you're just in this power, they're going to just be so seduced by you they're gonna they're gonna just want to do anything to get you back um and so a lot of you might get a message you know because they can you're and you're manifesting love too and you know sometimes you will get hit up by exes when when you manifest love because it's like you're tapping into this energy where you're putting the intention in you're like i'm just a magnet for love for friendship for romance for family just i'm a magnet for love and so sometimes people that still have feelings for you will pick up on that energy and they'll they'll hit you up i've never known how to get past that i'm sure there probably is a way to put specific intention in there to get past it i've never known how to do that because whenever i try to manifest love like i have exes from the past that i don't really want to talk to anymore hitting me up um but it's, it's always a good sign for me, though, because I'm like, okay, well, that energy is out there in the universe, at least. At least the people that have feelings for me are coming forward. And, you know, at least I know I'm a magnet for love, even if I need to ignore or block my exes or get closure with them or whatever. It's like, at least I know I'm manifesting love. At least I know my intentions are working. And sometimes exes do come back around so that you can get closure. Like, I just had that happen. Um with my twin flame actually you know i i got he blocked me and that gave me all the closure i needed i was like i'm done after that i'm just i'm over it i'm done um i don't want that in my life anymore you know i want stability i want consistency i want i want more um and so you know you might be having these exes come back around too just to get closure so that you can actually I had actually two exes, I think, come back around in the last, like, couple weeks or so. Um, and one of them, we just got in a huge argument. I'm like, fuck you, I'm done. I'm done with you, too. Um, so, you know, there is that that potential there. And it makes sense with this breakthrough, with this this moon, in, this um, full moon in Pisces. Like, you might be having people from your past come back around. And it might not necessarily be for reunion. It might just be, like your guides are removing the blocks to love so if you have someone who's toxic you're still holding on to they might come back around so that you can have some closure and let them go so that you can actually manifest your true person someone who's actually going to be on your level and give you the commitment you want um but again you know like i said you're going to be man you're just going to be in your power you're going to be so seductive you're going to be in this empress energy where you can just the world is your oyster you can have whatever you want and so this person this toxic person might be coming in with like this regret this apology but it's like too little too late for a lot of you you know like you you don't want this you didn't you know you didn't want me when i was depressed when i needed you here but you want me now that i'm magical and powerful and strong like i don't think so you know um so yeah don't be surprised if you some of you hear from your exes but again you know, really think about, for some of you, maybe it is worth it. But for a lot of you, I think it's, maybe you just want the closure so you can let it go and you can actually manifest your true love because you have, you are so powerful right now. You're in this empress energy, this high priestess type energy where you can manifest your true love. You can manifest whatever you want. You don't have to go back to this toxic energy. You don't have to fear being alone anymore. You don't have to deal with that anymore, whatever that was. So really, when this apology comes in, don't lose yourself again. Don't be submissive to this apology. Really think about it. Like, are you in this, this magical energy because you've cut this out and because you're just standing on your own two feet? Like, you don't want to go back to that. You want to stay true to this new path that you're on, to this breakthrough, to this just living your life and having the abundance you want no matter what. Don't let don't let someone who doesn't want you when you're at your worst come back around and drag you down again. Um, I'm going to look into what your person's feeling.
So let me put the intention in because you might have multiple love partners right now, you know, and being in that kind of powerful energy where you're manifesting what you want. And some of you are still getting into it. Some of you are still probably like going through these life changes and being like, what the fuck? Why did I just lose my job? Why did I just lose? Why am I getting kicked out of my apartment? Why is this happening? Why is this happening? Like all this chaotic energy that I think you're you're coming into this power where you're like, it's pushing you to let go of control issues. It's pushing you to to trust the universe more. It's it's pushing you to get out of stagnant situations, you know? Like our guides have been pushing us, like pushing us and also pushing our people for a long time to get out of stagnant energy, be it jobs, roommate situations, kar karmic partners, whatever. They're pushing harder now. They're pushing really hard now, so it's like if you're holding on to something toxic, don't be surprised if that blows up. <laughs> um, it's just kind of how it works, you know? Uh, let's see what's going on. Okay, so for your person, what is your... And let's put the intention on. Let's not, let's not pick up on the toxic X, whatever energy that was for some of you. Because I do, I do feel for a lot of you, you have two people. For some, you actually have three or four or even more people around you noticing your energy right now. Like, they're noticing the way you dress. They're noticing your personality they're noticing your mannerisms they're probably stalking you on social media they're just enthralled by you like you have a few different people that are really noticing this power that you're coming into um and really kind of setting you apart from the rest like realizing how unique you are um i do feel like that stalking energy like people stalking your social media for sure. So yeah, for some of you, it's a couple people. Um, for others, it's like multiple people, like having exes come back around and then having new people, like meeting new people, um, twin flame, soulmates. It's, it's all kinds. Of, it's a lot of, a lot of energy, um, a lot of really good energy. So let's put the intention and let's not pick up on the toxic ex. Let's just be done with that. Like, I don't know. It's up to you guys. You got, you know, you know your wife better than I do. So it's up to you. But, you know, it's, it's, I think most of you know, it's not worth it to go back to that. If they come back around, I think most of you want the new or that you're, you want this. If there's like a couple people you're talking to, you want the, you know, which one is right and which one isn't like you kind of already feel it out. So what is your person going through? What is what is the good person, the person that's right for you going through? Like the potential life partner, be it a soulmate, a twin flame, whatever they are. Just what is your person going through right now? What do, what do we need to know about that situation? Oh, okay. it's a lot of cards. All right, I guess. I guess we'll do it. I guess we'll have all these cards. Okay. Isolation, loneliness, emptiness. Let's see. I guess I should lay them out how they were. Oh, oh well. Sadness, hesitation, mixed feelings. It's actually good. I'm feeling... I'm looking at this because I feel like this is energy they're coming out of. I feel like it's just kind of telling you what they've been going through. Chaser and chasey. Power struggle, overthinking. And we got fast-moving energy. So it's like they have like this, just this... Yeah, see, fast-moving energy. Then we have love offer here. And we've got... I think this is a karmic connection. Well, for some of you, it's like um, your person is coming through, but they've been in a karmic connection, but they're... The karmic doesn't have power anymore. It's like she's pathetic. He or she's pathetic. It's not going to be able to do anything anymore. Adventure, honeymoon, vacation. And then we have new love. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I feel like for a lot of you, like your person was in this phase of just like kind of isolating and detaching from everyone, not just you, but I think everyone in their life, they might have some mental illness um, with isolation, loneliness, emptiness. And then we have this, this energy of sadness and just hesitation and mixed feelings. I don't think it's mixed feelings in a negative sense regarding you. I don't think that it was that they were unsure of how they felt. I think that they were unsure of how you felt. They were unsure if you would give them a second chance. They were unsure if they were worthy of the connection. They were unsure if 
if you would want them back after everything that happened. You know, if a lot of time went by, I think they might have been kind of in their head about things. Like, they're like, well, would he or she really want to talk to me after this, to all this time? And like, what do I say? You know, they were kind of like on the fence, like, because I don't want to come on, I don't want to say too much, but I don't want to say too little either, because maybe a lot of them owe you an apology. And so it's like, they don't know, they just don't know what to say. Like, they're like socially awkward and, and just straight, like shy almost. When I, I don't know if shy is the right word. Just, it's just like this awkward energy when it comes to you. They're like, what do I, what do I say? What do I do? It's been a long time since we've talked. Like, I feel like there's like a bit of a power struggle. So I feel like there's two different stories here. So I'll tell you what both of them are just really quick. Um, so this is Chaser and Chasey here, power struggle. For, so for some of you, there's like a power struggle where it's like they would fantasize about you and miss you and think about you, but their pride got in the way because it's like they were afraid that you would reject them if they told you if they came on too strong or if they said how they really felt or if... Um, If you guys were bringing up the past, maybe it was just kind of intense for them. There's just like a bit of a power struggle here where it's like they would fantasize about you and be vulnerable with you at night, like when they're like alone in bed and they're thinking about you and fantasizing and wanting that connection back. They would really like allow themselves to be vulnerable. But then when you guys talk, it's like they're a little distant or they try to like they might just be scared of rejection. It's like they have this hesitation and mixed feelings of like sadness. It's like they're in pain over you. Like they're sad over you and they're doing it to themselves. So they're hurting themselves because they're overthinking and they're playing out all these scenarios in their head. Like what if, what if I, I do give this, a, the relationship a chance and they cheat on me? What if I do give this relationship a chance and they, um, they break my heart or they, you know, use me or hurt me or do things that people in the past, like exes in the past have done to me. And I think that they're working through that energy though. I think at first though, like when this person, this person has either come in or they're coming in. And I think at first when they come in, it's like they have all these deep feelings for you. They have this pain, this loneliness. It's like you're their safe space. They're wanting to talk to you. They're wanting to be with you, to hold you. And they feel so vulnerable with you when they're like fantasizing about you. There's a lot of sexual fantasies too that they're having about you, I think. Um, just really wanting that closeness with you. A lot of like physical closeness I'm sensing too. A lot of like sexual close, like sexual sexuality, sensuality, kissing, cuddling, holding hands. Like they're just fantasizing about all of that with you. Some of them might even be wanting to travel with you, wanting this honeymoon, this like new start with you, wanting to go on an adventure with you. Um, and maybe fantasizing about that. Like what, what would it be like if we like went on a trip together? You know, what if we went out to the woods together? What if we, you know, went on a road trip together? That kind of energy. Um, but it's like they're hurting themselves. And I think they're going to realize it though. I think they're going to have this epiphany and realize that they've been hurting themselves. And that it's unnecessary, that the power struggle and the, the hesitation and this, the fear is unnecessary because you have true love here. You know, you have this, you have this, this commitment, you have this stable energy here. Um, and so I think they're going to stop being, I think they're going to get past that fear. I think they're going to realize that the fear is unnecessary and that they're just hurting themselves and they need to let go of the past. They need to let go of what the exes have done to them and realize that you're not the ex. You're not the karmic partner. You're, you're not the person that hurt them and did this or that to them. You know, you're, this is a completely different new energy and they need to realize that. And I think they, they are realizing that. Um, and so, yeah, it's like, they're sad about you, but it's like, they're sad because they're, they're coming up with these scenarios that haven't actually happened. Like they're, they're thinking of all the worst case scenarios they are being, they've been kind of pessimistic. Um, and so, yeah, they have these mixed feelings and it's like, I think that makes sense with the mixed feelings too. It's like they, mixed feelings in the sense that they have um, all this love for you and all this pain, this unnecessary pain. And it's like, they're so vulnerable with you when they're by themselves and they fantasize about you a lot in different ways. But then when you talk, <coughs> uh, maybe throat chakra blocks do need to, be, need to be cleared up for them. Maybe some throat chakra work would be good. Um, really just stepping out of their comfort zone and just talking, just say something, you know, just, just communicate, just take the first step. Even if it's just saying hi, just do something. Um, 
but yeah, it's like they 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 made it this like chaser chasey thing, like this power struggle. Like I'm gonna be in control of this. I'm not gonna let this person get the best of me. I'm not gonna let myself be hurt again. I'm gonna stay on top of things. I'm gonna make them chase me. I'm you know, I'm gonna be the one. I'm gonna hurt them before they hurt me. Like I'm not gonna get hurt. I'm not, I'm gonna be the dominant one here. Um, and they're making themselves sad by doing that because this is like a true love connection and they're, they're messing it up by being in this energy of making it a power struggle and making it like all this, this ego type energy. You know what I mean? Um, you know, this is like, and I think they're kind of, I can see this person like on a mountaintop thinking, like really thinking about everything really, they're really in their head about you right now a lot. Um, you know, overthinking, overanalyzing, self-sabotage. Um, and I think that they're going to come, I think they're going to have this epiphany though, where they realize that the power struggle and the chaser chasey thing and the games and the playing hard to get is unnecessary. It's not only unnecessary, but I think it's turning you off. I think them playing hard to get and them, you know, leaving you on red and not messaging for days at a time or, um, or just playing games or whatever they're doing, I think it's really turning you off. And so I think that they're realizing that they're going to need to come through and they're going to need to communicate if they want you. They're going to need to open up communication and, um, cause you've done a lot of work. You're, 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 you guys have like, I mean, I've been channeling you guys for a while now and it's like, you've come a long way since we, since I started channeling everyone here, all my viewers. Um, and so it's like, you don't like that energy. You don't like being ignored. You don't like being le like neglected. You don't like being left on red. You don't, like, if they pull away, you don't chase them. You know what I mean? It's like, you're just kind of like, okay, this sucks. This is stupid. I'm not going to chase you. Um, I want attention. I want love. I want someone who's going to send me cute little good morning and good night text messages. I want effort. I want you to show me that you care, even if it's just little baby steps. I want you to show me that I'm actually important to you. I don't want to play these games. Um, and so I think that your person is going to realize that. I think that they, they're in their head. And again, they're just thinking of the worst case scenarios. And I think they're going to realize that they're just, that they need to let go of the exes. They need to let go of the past. And I think they're going to realize that they're, God, what is this energy? I'm just channeling like these, these people, you know, it could be male or female. It's whatever, whatever energy you're in, whatever, you know, everyone's story is different, but, um, it's like, they're thinking of all these worst case scenarios. And I think that they, I think with all this overthinking and self-sabotage and overanalyzing they, they do, they're going to come to real, to realize that they're causing their own sadness and it's unnecessary because they have a new start here. They have true love here. They have adventure and happiness and everything they've ever wanted here. And they really just have to let go of the fear. They have to really make an effort. They have to let go of the ego of, of making things a power struggle when they don't need to be. Um, I think that, I think your person is doing inner work and they're going to continue to do some inner work and soul searching. And they're going to have these epiphanies and breakthroughs where they realize that they're projecting what they've gone through with their exes onto you. They're projecting, they're taking all these fears and all this baggage from the past and they're projecting it onto you, even though you haven't really done anything to hurt them, you know? And I think that they're going to come to these realizations that they want to let that past energy go, that they want to let, that they want to heal from that, that they don't have to keep repeating those patterns anymore, that they can let that energy go and they can have this new start. And so I think these epiphanies are going to, you know, really, the, the healing process they're going through is going to be amplified. Like they're going to really, really do some deep cleansing. I see crying, purging, just really deep cleansing, healing process that they're going to go through. And it's going to be pretty quick too. I think for a lot of them, I think the divine, like the higher ups are just kind of tired of the stagnation with, with these people. It's like, they're going to just push them. They're like, okay, you need to wake up. You need to pay attention to the synchronicity. You need to pay attention to what's in front of you while you still have it. 
Um, and so they're going to realize that they're sabotaging something really good, really pure, really beautiful here. They're sabotaging true love if they choose to just stay in their head and distance themselves and create their own sadness and make this a power struggle and try to, you know, play hard to get and play games when it's not necessary. And so I think a lot of them, you know, again, they're going to be healing and having these epiphanies. And I think they're going to come, you know, it's sudden turn of events here. Uh, chaos, chaos for some of them. Sudden turn of events, um, just fast moving energy. I think they're going to come in quick when they have these realizations, when they're going to be like, oh shit, I need to stop projecting what my ex did to me onto this other person. I need to stop being so pessimistic. I need to stop thinking of all the worst case scenarios. Like this person has been my rock. This person has been stable and supportive of me and loved me through everything. I don't really have anything to be afraid of. Like I could have like my best friend. I could have the partner that I've been wanting for so long if I just take this risk. Like they're going to come to these realizations and I feel like they're going to come through this love offer and commitment for you. Some of them when they come in, they're going to get jealous of the people in your life and they might like see like how defensive this person is. Like they're going to be really defensive with you. Um, at first, maybe kind of scared, but it's like, I think you're going to be patient with them. You know what I mean? As long as they're trying, as long as they're communicating and messaging you regularly, I think that you're going to be patient and work with them. Even if it takes them, even if it takes them a long time to get to like the place where they're ready for a relationship or whatever, I think you are going to work with them. And just as long as they're actually showing you that they care, as long as they're actually talking, even if they have fear or anxiety or mental illness. It's like, you you know, you love them. You really, truly love them. And so you're going to be patient with them um, regardless of everything, just as long as they actually are in your life. You know, it's like you don't care how messy it is. You don't care how chaotic it is or what kind of drama you have to deal with. You don't care about that. You just, as long as they're in your life, you're like, it's okay if it's messy, just as long as you're actually here, as long as you're actually messaging me and communicating with me and showing me that I'm important to you then I'll work through it with you. We'll work through the fear and anxiety together. And I sense a lot of fear and anxiety on both ends. I feel like with this new connection, you've either, it's either just come around or it's coming in. And I think you're going to be more afraid than you realize. I think it's going to, it's going to scare you too. It's going to bring up your, it's going to trigger your issues that need to be healed as well. It's going to really um, just bring up this energy where it's like, you're just, you're both going to love each other so much that it's going to scare you how vulnerable and how pure this relationship is, how much you love each other. Um, so yeah, this person might be a little bit defensive at first. They might be a little, you know, on edge. But again, like I said, you're going to work through it with them and you guys are going to get through the fear together just as long as they're making an effort and communicating. Um... And then, yeah, we have some new love, faded account encounter. You know, you could be, a friend could introduce you to someone. You could go out and just bump into someone in public. You know, it's like going on adventures, going to new places, living your life again. It's like synchronicity, like everything just falls into place. And you just, before you know it, you're giving your phone number to someone and you didn't expect it, you know, like just like your guides leading you to this person or, um, it's like destiny. It's, it's true. It's new love. It's true love. It's, 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 um, you know, it's destiny. It's this very deep soul connection that you guys have. And yeah, I see them, you know, I see you guys going on like a honeymoon phase. It's like going on vacation maybe traveling together, having these adventures together. I feel like you're also both going to be getting back into your creative adventurous energy with each other because it's like you're going to have this emotional support with each other. You're going to have this open relationship where you can just like communicate with each other and be honest and be, you know, it's like this person is your safe space and you're also their safe space and there's just see this like closeness here it's like look how safe she feels with him it's like she's like wrapping herself around him it's like that's like her protector that's her warrior you know it's like she feels safe with this person um it's like whoever is in feminine energy is feeling safe with the person that's in a more masculine energy it's like they're just there's just a lot of trust here a lot of vulnerability here a lot of just openness and, and just true love here, you know? 
Um, and yeah, you guys are going to be getting back into this adventurous energy with each other because it's like you're going to have this renewed zest for life, this new happiness, this like, you know, it, it's like you're going to be working through your fears together. There is going to be a lot of fear on both ends, but you're going to be working through that together and getting through it. Um, for others, I feel like this is a karma. This, okay, for some of you, only a couple, only a few of you, I think that your person was with a karmic partner and they felt isolated and lonely and they were being abused by this person and they were sad and they had this, this hesitation, mixed feelings, not wanting them, just kind of stuck in their head, not able to get out. And I think something drastic is going to happen that pushes them out of that. And there's going to be this fast moving energy where they're like, fuck the karmic. I want my person. I want my true love. Um, And, you know, the karmic is going to be mad, but she can't do shit. She's just, she's petty. She's, he or she can't do shit. You know, because look at, this person is looking at you. They're not looking at the karmic anymore. The karmic is trying to plot and it's like your person is just so above that that they don't even care anymore. They're just looking at this new person and they're looking at this new potential that's here. This, this adventure, this honeymoon vacation, this, just this good energy, this, this, you know, potential to be with someone who's an empath like they are, someone who's vulnerable and open the way that they are, somebody who's just like sweet and loving the way that they are, somebody that's just on their level, um, somebody that they can just have this closeness with. And I feel the anxiety talking about it. So I'm like, I'm channeling that anxiety. I'm like, yeah, you guys are both going to be scared. Just, just work through it though. Like both of you should work through the fear because this is true love. This is like a once in a lifetime opportunity. Like you're not going to get a chance. You might not get it. I shouldn't say you're not going to get a chance like at happiness like this again. Like you might. I don't know for sure. But this is like one of those rare chances at like true love that you have. You know what I mean? Like it could be a long time before something like this comes up again. Um, if you mess it up, if you like intentionally sabotage or mess it up, that is. If you're following your heart, I think you're going to be good. But this is for those of you that are like, this is too good to be true. I'm going to sabotage it. I'm going to I'm going to have the upper hand. I'm going to ignore them or I'm going to play hard to get. I'm going to play games. I'm going to um try to, you know, make this a power struggle being control. Like don't do that. Don't sabotage something pure and good cuz you have such a beautiful chance here. It's like you're going to regret it if you sabotage it. You're going to look back and be like, wow, that was true love. Like, I messed that up. And it's going to hurt you like hell that you let that go, that you sabotage something so real and so pure. So so don't sabotage it just because it feels too good to be true. Like, it is true. It is real. Um, it is true love. It really is stable. This person really does love you. This person really will be there for you. This person really won't let you go the way that people in your past have let you go you know this is different this is unlike anything you've any kind of relationship you've ever had before it's so different so really realize the kind of love that you have in front of you really appreciate that um and yeah that's 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 where we're at i think uh so a lot of fast moving energy a lot of people coming in and again remember when people come in you know, re realize who's who, realize who the toxic exes are and who the, the potential true love is here, you know, really recognize that energy, stay on top of things. Um, don't let, don't let a toxic ex or karmic drag you back down, like really get through that. Um, yeah, it makes sense with like, with them letting go of the karmic, you know, I mean, with, or with the karmic situation, like for, for the second, interpretation I had where it's like they're letting go of the karmic they're they're um the karmic's jealous but it's like you, they, you, they just don't care they're with they they realize that you're so much different and better than the karmic that they don't even care about the karmic anymore after this they're like they're in the honeymoon phase they're they're happy they're claiming this happiness you're claiming this happiness and I feel like actually most of them or all of them are actually going through this process whether it's letting go of a current ex or a past ex they're all in this process of letting their past go and moving forward because they don't want to be unhappy forever. You don't want to spend your life alone. You don't want to be unhappy forever. Like eventually you want to give love a chance, if, especially when you have a, a rare opportunity like what you have in front of you now. 
So, um, yeah, it's really good energy. It's just a very, I sense a very empathetic, very just stable, loving, grounded potential relationship, like a potential, just, just so much good potential. There's so much potential for healing and growth and happiness here. So let me know if this resonates. I'm going to go ahead and post it. And like I said, I'll be doing your Zodiac videos in, um, let's see, Friday, Saturday, Sunday at the latest. So thank you guys for watching.